Man, that was the worst speaker ever. What a bore. I didn't learn anything. Can't believe they made me stay for that. Is that what you hear when you attend a presentation? How often do you hear, that was great. We need to get them on again. How do we take advantage of what they just taught us? We need to book him again. Hello, my name is Doug Winnie, and I'm a business and team accelerator. What does that mean, you might wonder? What I do is I work with groups of people and organizations to motivate the team and educate their team to get great performance. As one of my mentors, Brad Sugars, taught me, we must educate before we motivate, else people do stupid things faster. You may want to have a speaker and trainer to increase your sales, maybe improve team efficiency, motivate your team. How about improving customer service? You have a group of five to 500 to educate and motivate? Well, here are two great examples of motivation and education. Number one, motivation. Above the line, below the line. Now, every single day, many times in a day, we have an opportunity to be above the line or below the line. Now, above the line is when we're a victor. We have ownership, accountability, responsibility for our actions. The acronym OAR is an OR, and we get to use that OR and dig deep and control where we're going. Now, below the line is when we're a victim, and that acronym is BED, Blame, Excuses, and Denial. Now, we don't want to be a victim, we want to be a victor, so we want to be above the line. We teach lots of different ways to stay above the line. Now, the second thing I want to teach you today is that of the formula for change. Now, the formula for change is a little complicated, but let me explain it for you. The formula is D times V plus F has got to be greater than R. Now, the acronym D is for dissatisfaction. Right? So the letter D is for dissatisfaction. There's got to be some dissatisfaction uh, for us to change. Now, it's multiplied times V, and V is vision. There's got to be some vision for us to change as well. Now, D has got to be multiplied times V. So if ever D doesn't exist and the value is zero, or V doesn't exist and that value is zero, it's multiplied together and you get zero. So you've got to have dissatisfaction and you've got to have vision. Now we add to that F, which is the first steps, greater than R, which is resistance. So D times V plus F has got to be greater than R. Now, if you liked what you heard, here are three different ways to learn more about how we work with groups to grow businesses. You can give me a call at the office, 713-936-3814. You can also click on the video link, which will allow you to download the top 10 tips to select a great speaker and trainer. And you can also go to our website, which is www.businessasatool.com because that's what it is, business is a tool. So www.businessasatool.com. Thanks so much for watching. Go out and make it a great day.